Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As promised to you guys in my previous video that the next um, uh, video is going to be about the new carries classification since that has been a new update. Um, and we know that the board exams loves to ask us questions on the new updates, obviously. Uh, so new carries classification is something that is being, uh, uh, the questions, are, uh, the students are being evaluated upon, uh, be it the Canadian board exams or the Canadian in both exams. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about new carries classification. Uh, I did, uh, sorry, before going ahead once again, I just wanted to tell you guys I did my best to find these uh, slides for you guys uh, and I hope that they are helpful to you. In case if you guys have any questions or anything that you guys think that is missing out, please feel free to comment or even reach out to me on my Instagram handle. Uh, INBD Twitter. So let's go ahead and talk about international caries detection and assessment and which is known as ICDAS classification. So there are certain different kinds of codes and there are clinical descriptions. I even um, at the end of the video, I even added a sample question just to guys to, uh, just to give you an idea about what kind of questions they can uh, like are be asked in the board exams. Now, before going ahead and discussing the codes and the clinical description, I just wanted to mention you guys that the code 1 and 2 can also be known as initial caries classification, 3 and 4 are the moderate, and 5 and 6 are the extensive caries classification. So please, I'm going to repeat once again, 1 and 2 come under initial caries classification, 3 and 4 moderate, and 5 and 6 extensive. So the code 0 implies that there is no evidence of caries and there will be a smooth touch surface. Code 1 is actually the first visual change in the enamel, mean the discoloration, um, uh, discoloration or opacity uh, and the discoloration could be white or brown in color um, and it is visible only after drawing so please make it an important point it is only after uh, when the tooth is dry not when the tooth is wet now according to the second code there is a distinct visual change in enamel the caries lesion is visible when the tooth is both dry and wet so please uh, pay attention over here that the tooth is both dry and wet and the caries is visible uh, according to the code 3 there is localized enamel breakdown so no visual sign of dentine breakdown so the enamel is breaking down but the dentine is still intact so according to the code one two and three we are still in the enamel uh, if there if you could guys just see that there in the, the difference between one two and three is that in one and two still the it is still in the enamel but in one and two there is no enamel breakdown whereas in three there is enamel breakdown so other in other words i can also say that in code one and two there are no signs of cavitation whereas in code three there is cavitation according to code four there is a dark shadow which is visible in the dentine now the uh, according to the code four the caries has reached into the dentine and according to the code 5 there is a distinct cavity which is visible in uh, in the dentine in the cavity now the according to the code 4 there is only a shadow whereas in uh, code 5 there is a proper cavity that is visible as you reach the dentine and according to the code 6 the, it is an extensive cavity obviously with visible dentine uh, cavity affecting more than half of the tooth surface also so it, uh, when the cavity has affected more than half of the tooth surface that is an extensive cavity now if you guys ask me the most important question that, that they would be uh, if i have to think about it would be they would be evaluating you guys on code one and two since there is no cavitation but the uh, the only thing that one can get confused is that one is visible in uh, after drawing and one is visible both drawing and wet so please pay very uh, minute attention uh, these are very minute differences so please do pay attention uh, personally i did read the updates and everything i did not get myself any questions on the new caries classification uh, 
but th this is something they could ask you guys in the exam um, and in the next slide i have put a sample question it is just a one sample practice question just to give you guys an idea about what kind of questions can be asked now uh, let's go ahead and see what question is asking which of the following is not the feature of occlusal caries with code 2 now we know that with code 2 the caries is visible uh, it, the the caries is in the enamel and there is no cavitation obviously but and uh, the caries is visible both when the tooth is dry and wet now caries is visible when the tooth is wet true caries is visible when the tooth is dry that is also true caries is confined to the occlusal uh, occlusal uh, fissure um, let's go ahead and check the option 4 as well intact enamel surface with no cavitation as i already mentioned to you guys that there is no cavitation um, you guys can even just see that even if you guys do not know the answer you could just if you guys properly know what the codes are and what does the codes imply uh, you can obviously uh, just if if you guys just pay attention we know that 1 2 and 4 are already correct the only one that stands out is the option 3 because that is that means that there is cavitation so since in code 2 there is no cavitation uh, the cavitation happens in code 3 so the which of the following is not a feature of caries uh, occlusal caries with code 2 the answer is 3 so this was all for the caries classification guys it's a very small uh, obviously uh, the video but this is all you guys need to know from the exam point of view uh, and i hope this video did help you guys and if you guys think that there is uh, that it did help you guys this is something you guys were looking for please do like and subscribe my channel and please keep me um, uh, please please give me ideas if there are any changes that need to be done or in any if there is any kind of help i can provide you guys with more or if there are any kind of certain topics or videos that you guys are looking forward to or i can help you guys out with please please uh, feel free to share your point of view uh, with me uh, because i will be more than happy to help you guys so wishing you all the very best who all uh, who all of are giving the exam anytime soon uh, from my side all the best to you guys